Hi, and welcome to another episode of Flyer Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. In this episode, we're talking about the Form 1 3D printer. So, 3D printing is the new 2D printing. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know. 2D printing has been out for a while, so I, I think we should give People it... People are really into it. <laughs> so what these are, these are these things. are things made with the Form 1. Now, to explain the difference here, we're going to have to show these things. Uh, this red guy was made with a MakerBot. This clear guy, which is clear plastic. Are they all clear? Right now they're all clear. They have a, they have a gray resin that you can get, uh, but it's not available yet. Okay. It's made on the Form 1. Now, if you'll notice, the way the Form 1 works is that it actually shoots resin with lasers. Wow. The resin hardens. Uh, because of the uh, UV light, and it creates little sculptures. Whereas the MakerBot sort of draws a picture out of plastic, and it builds up the product slowly but surely. The best thing about the Form 1 is you can make crazy stuff like this. Now this is one of the most complex things I've ever made, and it made with it, it came off without a hitch. It came right out of the machine, looking. I remember like you that. sending us the 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 schematics or whatever, yeah. and all of us being like, "Oh yeah, good it's luck." It's almost impossible to make this on a maker bar. You could feasibly make it. Uh, I also made this, which is a Hello Kitty. Doesn't look uh, like it came out very well. No, because I, don't know if I ran out of resin at, at the very end. Right here is where I ran out of resin. I see. So it was supposed to have an ear and another bow. Okay. So. So the price difference, right? The the Form One is three thousand, yep. and the MakerBot is two thousand. Yes. So which do you prefer? Is the, you said that the Form One was kind of harder, though. So the way the Form One works is you actually print this plastic rubbery thing, and then you dump it into rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, to cure it, to harden it. So out of the box, you can't really use it because it's kind of still sticky. Okay. You can still sort of feel that as well, um, on the surface. But this curing process hardens it completely. Well, so what's what's the what's the verdict, Biggs? Well, if I were a teacher or if I were just a hobbyist, I would buy the MakerBot because you can make these little plastic doodads. The resolution is acceptable, but the resolution on this thing is amazing, and it's a it, it's essentially the same number of lines, quote unquote, that you have here, uh, but the way that they're put together and the way that the the plastic structures itself in this this thing is really, really nice. I think the Form 1 looks cooler, too. It does look cooler. It looks, looks much more professional than, uh, than the wooden MakerBots of old. Uh, the MakerBots are getting far more interesting now, but the Form 1 looks like something that comes out of the future, whereas the MakerBots kind of, it's like a toaster with a platform on it. Right. I'll so, give it a fly, too. I think that 3D printing is exciting, and I like that there's some competition heating up, so I'm all for it. All right. So we have two flies for the Form 1 printer. I'm very excited about this product. It's actually a lot of fun. We can make a little plastic uh, Mobius strip slash Stormtrooper. Excellent. My dream come true. <laughs> this is Flyer Die. Thanks for watching.